What if you couldn't get a job because the industry you're working in no longer exists in Singapore? What if our economy as a whole was in jeopardy? What do we do to protect our livelihoods from being swept away? Think about it. When sea levels rise, our factories and workplaces along the coast will be underwater. So what if we do nothing about it? 30% of our land is low-lying. With rising sea levels, all these areas are at risk. And if you think 30% is not that much, why? Actually, it's approximately the land size of 13 Sentosas. So what are we going to do to save our livelihoods? Maybe become the new tourist attraction underwater. I hope not. The government is trying to solve it. My family business might not be able to continue. It's a bit more difficult to import all the resources into Singapore. So there will be lesser food supply, the resources, everything. I'm sure the government uh, are taking steps to proactively make sure that the rising sea levels are not affecting us, our population, our economy. Normal Singaporeans like us won't honestly care about such stuff until we really see a problem. Mm -hmm. Then people will start to like, you know, do something about it. Everything is interconnected these days. Rising sea levels affect the flow of supplies into Singapore, which affects the jobs of people transporting the supplies. It is a ripple effect that goes across industries island-wide. Even your friendly neighbourhood beach bars, eateries and tourism as a whole are all at risk. So are the livelihoods of those working in these industries if nothing is done to protect our coast. How do you think rising sea levels and climate change will affect our jobs and the economy of Singapore? If we do nothing, and let me stress, if we do nothing, a lot of industries along the waterfront may face this issue, right? If their areas are inundated, then they can't do business. The economy of Singapore is driven a lot by our port operations. And at the same time, we also have the Changi Airport. And in the north, like industry, if all these are flooded, it goes down to the whole supply chain of jobs. So the repercussion is actually greater. The government actually has set up several agencies. One of the relevant ones are the Centre for Climate Research in Singapore under the National Environmental Agency, and also the PUB Coastal Protection Department. All the agencies are involved, but you see these two is helping to drive a better understanding on what we should actually respond. So we are doing studies to see which areas could potentially be affected in the longer run. And we have started with the critical infrastructure, like the Tuas Mega Port, Changi Airport Terminal 5. They have been designed to be a much higher level so that they can overcome this challenge posed by sea level rise. Moving beyond this critical infrastructure, we'll start looking at the other areas of the coastlines could be in potential danger in future. Singapore must remain the shiny red dot that we are now. Everything that we do must ensure that our livelihoods remain, our economy continues to thrive, and people can go about their normal daily business. Just that they need to have the community resilience to yeah. take care of climate change together with us as a whole of nation effort. It is very clear that rising sea levels will cause some land to be uninhabitable and our economy will be impacted in some ways. But we can fix the problem today to reduce the impact in the future. This affects all of us, so let's get involved. If you want to find out more, do check out this site. <laughs>